Hello, it's Teresa. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Today, I'm working with this fabulous sign from BB Craft. Now, this was part of my haul for participating in their YouTube program for content creators here on YouTube with at least 100 subscribers. If you're interested in finding out more about that program, just click on the link in the description box below and you can find out all about it. This adorable wooden sign came in a two pack and it did come with some twine that you could stick through these holes so you can hang it on the wall. But I had another idea in mind the second I laid eyes on it. Um, the measurements of this, it's, it's approximately 11 and three quarter inches wide by five and three quarter inches tall and it's about an eighth of an inch thick. It's beautifully painted. It says Christmas Home Bakery, delicious specialties, baked fresh daily, traditional gingerbread, shortbread, sweets, treats, and peppermint candy. This would be a beautiful piece of home decor on its own, or you could turn it into some sort of crafty project like I did. Let me share mine with you. So I use this sign as my inspiration to make this baking mini album for Christmas. Um, I just thought it was perfect for that. With slimline cards being all the rage, I thought making a landscape style mini album would be a lot of fun. So this album measures 12 by 6 and it has a 3 inch spine. So this is what it looks like from the top. Try to show you the spine. <laughs> it's a little large uh, to get on my camera. but It looks like that. And then the back of my album looks like this. So I did make a chipboard cover for my album and I simply hot glued this wooden sign onto it and then embellished from there. I used some Nuvo Sparkle Drops uh, to enhance these gumdrops and give them a little bit of dimension. Um, I used some clear Nuvo drops on these jelly beans to also give them dimension and make them shine. I used some diamond stickles to create a, a snowy, icy effect. Um, and I used that to accent in various places on the sign. These adorable gingerbread flatback cabochons are also from BB Craft and were part of my haul. And this is what they look like. There's also one on the inside of my album. If you'd like a look at all of these individually, make sure to check out my haul video and um, I will link that in the description box below. I used a couple of dies from my stash, which I embellished uh, just to add here and there on the sign. Because the sign was already so beautifully decorated, I really just did minimal things to it, and I love the way that it turned out. I glued this mini pom-pom trim around the edge, and I think it just finished it off very nicely. Let me pick it up for you so that you can see all of the detail. Hopefully my camera is picking that up. It's really quite fun and sparkly in person. Let's check out the inside. Now, because of the size of my album, I, I can't get it all in frame at once, so we're gonna go through it page by page. This is the inside cover of my album. I made a tag using a cut apart from the collection, and I embellished with a little heart rhinestone flat back. Then I made this gingerbread piece out of 110 pound cardstock. I decorated him to coordinate with the paper that I used, if you can see right there. Um, I tried to um, kind of mimic this design. And this magnetizes closed, but it opens up like this to reveal a pocket. And the pocket is decorated with a cut apart from the collection. And inside of the pocket is a recipe card. You could fit several of them in there. This is a four by six recipe card, which is standard. And the idea is that this also turns into an easel and you can rest your recipe card there while you're making your recipe. Again, this is magnetized and just closes down like that. On our next page, 
this is where I'm going to keep my Christmas cookie recipes. Now the rest of these pages um, just repeat these same uh, layouts, but I only decorated this first one with a title because I'm not sure exactly um, which recipes I'm going to include in this book. And until I determine that, I don't want to create titles. So this one I know is going to be for my Christmas cookies. So I just made, uh, I just use a um, alphabet die from my stash to create that title. Use this pretty white lace just to add some trim and dimension. And this is held together with Velcro and it opens up like this. You could also use magnets and then that flips down. And then inside what I've created are, it's a waterfall, but each of them holds a four by six recipe card. So it's a pocket on this side, but then when you flip it over, you have room for a photo. And this will perfectly house a four by six photo, leaving a nice eighth of an inch border all the way around. So in this waterfall, you have nine pockets for recipe cards and eight places for four by six photos. On the next page, as I mentioned, we kind of just repeat the designs. Here I did create a pocket that's got a couple of cut aparts from the collection in it that you can journal on the back or put a photo. Used a little puffy sticker from my stash. Created this cute cup of hot cocoa this flips up. There's my pocket, it says Merry Christmas. Inside is my recipe card. Once again, purpose of this is to use it as a stand for my recipe card. And the reason why I alternated the pages like this is because I figured you could just pull the recipe card that you're using out of this side and then pop up your little stand over here when you're creating the recipe. And again, this just magnetizes closed. This is another one of those waterfall pages that I will probably decorate with a title like hot chocolate or Christmas cheer or something like that when I figure out which recipes I'm going to include. Again, I've decorated it with that pretty white lace and it Velcros shut. And I have my waterfall again for recipe cards as well as photos. On this next page, I've got another pocket, more cut aparts from the collection. And on this one, I included one of those little gingerbread cabochons that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Isn't he sweet? It says home for the holidays. I just think that these are so cute. I used a die to create this gingerbread house, which again, I tried to um, mimic what was in uh, the paper collection as far as the colors and the design. This opens up like this to reveal the pocket and the recipe card. It's decorated with a cut apart from the collection that says Holly Jolly and stands up like this to hold your recipe card. Magnetizes closed. On this page, I used that coordinating sweet gingerbread house paper. Once again, being consistent using this white lace and 
when I figure out how I want to title this, I will make a title similar to the one that I showed you on the first page of the album. Once again, this opens up to reveal a waterfall. Again, this will hold nine recipe cards that are four by six in size or smaller. And you have eight places for photos. Once again, I've got another pocket here that has a couple cut aparts from the collection. And here I've used a die to create this little cookie sheet filled with some cutout uh, cookies embellished with a little ribbon. And this flips up like this to reveal a pocket. And of course, inside of the pocket, we have a recipe card. The pocket says sweet treats, which just is a cut apart from the collection. And this creates my easel to hold my recipe card. This closes with a magnet. And this is the inside of the back cover again opens up with a velcro closure you have a waterfall inside which is capable of holding nine recipe cards and eight photos I don't know about you, but I do a lot of holiday baking. So when I created this album, I did so with my needs in mind of being functional, cute, and capable of holding a lot of recipes and photos. I don't have a tutorial for this album because I just kind of did a free-flowing process and made it as I went. However, if you're interested in knowing the exact measurements that I used and more details about how I created this album, let me know in the comment section below and I'd be happy to put together a tutorial for you. I want to thank BB Craft for allowing me to participate in their YouTube program. I've had so much fun using the items that they sent me and, um, and sharing them with you and hopefully it's given you some inspiration. I've included a link to BB Craft in the description box below as well as links to the specific products that I got from BB Craft. Also, don't forget to use my coupon code of Teresa and the number five to get $5 off your order of $40 or more at BB Craft. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please remember to like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Also, Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Until then, bye!